My name is Paul Woodcock, and I'm a volunteer with North Cascades Audubon, as well as Wings Over Water. And we're here at Birch Bay State Park today to, uh, well, check out the beach, but also to do some birding up in the, in the forest land, because I, that's my particular interest here. In fact, I, I like forest birding for songbirds probably more than I do looking at marine birds, but when you're here in the Pacific Northwest, you gotta like the marine birds too. So I, I enjoy that. So I'm also with one of my Audubon partners here, um, Pam Borso, who is the education chair of North Cascades Audubon, and a, a group of ardent birders here, and we're gonna get out and we're gonna see what we can find first on the beach and then up in the, the woodlands of Birch Bay State Park. Well, we got a group of glaucous wing gulls here on the beach. Okay, hey, that's cool. Common loon right out here. It looks like a tugboat out there. Oh, I see. Yeah, here we got some more. A buffle head and, yes, as Pam said, a couple buffle, buffle heads. Well, it's getting to be springtime. We certainly got better weather here today than we had at Semiyamu last week, two weeks ago. Surf scoters out here. Now a good bunch of surf scoters scattered along. Common golden eyes. Well, one common golden eye. We got a lot of surf scoters and buffle heads. What'd you say, Pam? Okay. Now, so down here, there's a lot of surf scoters and also one horn grebe mixed in. So out here, there's some pairs of buffle heads and buffle heads in common golden eyes. And I've been seeing the, the buffle heads actually doing bill pointing where they tip their heads back, flip their heads back and point their bills up which is, means that they're getting into breeding, it's getting into breeding season. So it's that time of year, spring's coming on, and you, start, you see them do it, and you're seeing, you see the very closely related golden eyes doing the same thing. Oh. Pam, what did you see that, that gull doing a little bit ago? What was that? Uh, there was a gull out here that uh, was uh, picking up a bivalve going up into the air and then dropping it onto the rock. Mm -hmm. You want to talk some more about that? Yeah. Well, they're, they've learned to use tools, basically, which is all the rocky, rocky beach here. And they take the, take the clams up into the air and drop them. So they smash open and they can get the meat out. Yeah, and, and they do that on the uh, uh, Yeah, they'll, they'll drop it on trails and roads and cars wait for the cars to smash them. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Unlike the scoters that are out here that can swallow those bivalves whole, they have to get the shell cracked open so they can get after what's inside. So I think maybe it might be time to take a walk down the beach this way and see what we can find over, over uh, a little bit farther away. The winter storms have yeah. brought this stuff up. And of course, the woody debris here, it, it overtopped all of this. It did, yeah, they were on the road, as a yeah. matter of fact. So Let's go. A good idea. So, if you look around here, you notice all of these logs. Oh, hey, there's a couple of killdeers running down the beach. So we have some, <laughs> some shorebirds here. 
killdeers are some beautiful plovers. Very nice. Oh, there's another one right, oh, close by, right here. Third killdeer. Oh, goodness, we almost got hit by a clam. <laughs> We're getting dive bound. That's a good sized one, too. So if you see all this woody debris, all these logs and things, all of these have been blown up this winter by storms. In fact, there was one somewhere not, not long uh, after the first of the year where the, all the logs and other detritus were basically scattered on the road and they had to come and scrape the road down. So we had a pretty stormy winter. I'm glad it settled, on, settled in today a little bit. We got a nice pleasant day. So here at the Birch Bay State Park Beach, we're of course on Birch Bay. Uh, we're a little further south of the border than we were up at Semiamu. So we look across Birch Bay and that's Birch Point, and to the, right of, to the right here is the community of Birch Bay, where they're working on the berm project down here on the, on the waterfront. Actually, looking across out at, well, the Straits of Georgia, out here, Boundary Bay is off to the right, and you can see Point Roberts. And looking this way, you can see some of the Gulf Islands of Canada. Well, I don't see much more in the way of bird activity down here, so I think it's time for us to go hit the woods. I'm excited about that part. So we're going to take a walk up here into the wood, wooded part of the park and uh, look for songbirds and uh, maybe some woodpeckers. Uh, what else we see? Well, the owls. Yeah, there's barred owls up here in the woods and see what we can find. But this morning, right in this stretch along the creek, this is along Terrell Creek, uh, Wayne saw a couple of pileated woodpeckers right here. And sadly, they're not here for us to uh, get on film right now, but uh, we'll uh, hopefully maybe be able to find some up in the woods. So, But I'd like to talk a little bit about Terrell Creek here. The creek the creek parallels the shoreline and actually it's a great place to come and look for ducks. There's a lot of mallards down here further on down. Um, I saw them when we were coming in this morning. I can't see any from here right now. But this is a good spot to find hooded mergansers. Nice quiet water right by the... Oh, and great blue herons, that's absolutely correct. Well, there was a, yeah, the last, a couple days ago I was here and there was a great blue sitting right down in here alongside of the bridge. And in the brush here along the creek, I found a hermit thrush, which is a wintering bird that we get here occasionally, staying around for the winter from the interior of the state or further north. Nothing in sight right now here, but, well, let's head on up into the park. Hey, I'm hearing some birds up here in the trees. What do we got? Oh, golden crown kinglets. Yes, okay, I hear them now. So kinglets are here in the forest a lot, one of our more common birds, but they like to spend their time up in the tops of coniferous trees. We often don't see them. Uh, you might hear their sounds of this little CTT, very soft, and occasionally they come down and join us here down at ground level. So one of the things about walking in the forest and field tripping in the forest is actually a lot of things are heard and not seen. So being quiet and listening, moving quietly through the forest is important to actually spot the birds. So 
let's move ahead and uh, find out what we can locate. Wayne's been spending a lot of time here looking for owls, and we're hoping we can find the barred owls over here in the backside of the, of the close part of the campground. So we're going to walk, take a loop through there, and then go up and hike one of the nature trails up here, so down, down to Terrell Creek. So it should be good. Another thing we should find is the sap suck. And, and we quite a few up. We did the last time we were here. Good, thank you. Let's let's look. So, and listen. That's that's important. I was trying to find a sap suck. I saw one yesterday. In this spot. Okay. Yeah. Well, when we saw that owl, we were looking for the sap sucker, and there was the owl sitting in the same same. I didn't know what what so, I was saying, but now you said it. I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, chickadees. Uh, I'm not sure if they were chestnut backed or no, black they were black capped. Okay. Cool. So, well, the, the black capped has the, the classic chickadee dee dee song. Okay, that's and the black capped. Yes, the black capped. The other, the other one is much more abbreviated, and I, I wouldn't want to try to imitate well, it, but the there's a lot of. Back, how I, I tell them apart is it goes chicka chicka, chicka chicka, chicka chicka D. But the, it, it's, the, the yeah. uh, um, black capped goes chicka dee dee dee. Chicka dee dee dee. Yeah, the, so they're they're kind of chicka. So it's mostly chicka. It, it's 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 very it's much less that. musical. Right. I mean, and it's so it it it's really quite a different sound. And I'm I'm hearing I'm hearing kinglets again here too. So the kinglets are probably all over this forest. Uh, the other thing to look for on the ground is is uh, winter wrens so right. i mean excuse me excuse me That's pacific pacific wrens and with the uh kinglets for me if they're on the edge of hurting my ears that's how i know it's a kinglet it's the it's so high pitched that it hurts my ears it, it it's yeah it's there's probably a lot of that song that we don't even hear right. actually because it's so it's so high pitched um your your hearing must be better than mine <laughs> Okay, that that was that was a brown creeper that just sang. Um, hopefully, we'll spot one of those guys. Brown creepers just spend their time cleaning the bark, looking through the cracks in the bark, and you'll see them climbing up trees, creeping straight up. They creep up the tree, and then they fly down to the bottom of the next tree and, and up. go up again and just go on like that, scouring the trees. There's a whole flock of juncos just crossed the, the road across in front of us here. Um, they're still going. This time of year we get big flocks of juncos moving through the forest, often, often with other birds with them, like, like chickadees. And, okay, I heard something else here. What do we got? Juncos down on the, down on the pavement here, moving, they're still moving through. And, I'm still hearing brown creepers, so there must be creepers moving with this flock too. So in winter, a lot of birds actually, there's, there's strength in numbers. They, as far as predators are concerned, it's better to move with the group. So mixed flocks of birds move together through the forest. Yeah, you can hear the, the twittering of the juncos. It's a dark-eyed junco, actually, is the official name. Often, uh, who we have up here, let's see. It's still going up. So it's also searching through the bark to see what it can find. And sometimes in these flocks we get uh, downy woodpeckers. Haven't seen a chestnut back chickadee or heard one yet. Song sparrows singing in here. Let's see if it sings again. Let's listen. Probably scared everything away. But what it does, that brings, yeah, it did. That, that song sparrow came right up. He's singing, singing right here. Some of our more, some of our more territorial species really react to what's called pishing when birders make some sounds that 
sound like uh, really alarm notes. Song sparrows just singing away. So there's kinglets singing in here again. If you listen, you can hear the little, there, just like that, the little CCC, just these little buzzy notes. That's our Buick's wren again, right down there. Or another one. On this little alder leaning out across the road, there's a brown creeper going up. You can see it silhouetted against the, on the right side, up about 20 feet. And that, you can, that's its little, it's little, there, there it is, going up, <laughs> with an airplane in the background. Yeah. <laughs> <It's a big bird. laughs> Look for movement, I always say, well, that, wait, don't, don't follow that airplane, though. Okay, now our, our Buick's wren is making all those chipping notes back here, they get excited. Quite, a, quite an excitable bird. We got another varied thrush up here. Just really, really pretty. Going up, a lot of, lot of bird activity right here. Especially chickadees up, up top. Well, that's a, yeah, th these are black capped chickadees. Oh, wait. Yes, I guess they are. Again, looking up toward the looking up toward the sky, it's pretty hard to get the coloration. No, that's a chestnut back. That's cool. Good look at a chestnut back chickadee. Well, just around the corner here, there's parking lots, and then we'll come back through the campsites. Uh, and they're closed campsites, so it's actually a good place to be walking at this time of year. It'd be nice to run into some red crossbills or something up here in the tops of the trees, wouldn't it? I mean, some, some winters there's a lot of them around, but there haven't been, haven't been this year. The siskins have certainly been around this year, though. Lots of pine siskins. If you want good looks at varied thrushes, there's a couple of them down on the ground here. They're, I noticed them throwing the leaves around. There's one that just came up off the ground. A couple of ravens overhead. Yeah, that's Where nice. Ravens. Yeah. Why are they well, they're probably looking looking for things to eat under the leaves, so they'll they'll get in there and stir things around. They're There's ground and there are lots of uh, moss and butterfly larvae. Eggs that winter in the in the leaves and the bird call that I wasn't familiar with. What what did what did it sound like? Was it? I I just heard a little trill. Was that it? Was it a trill? It's more like a yip. Oh, was it raven? Was it the raven call? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. The ravens are sort of barking. Yeah, yeah right. a little barking. Okay. I, I love the sounds the ravens make, and, and it's an endless variety. There's a lot of talking going on there, a lot of language. So just a moment ago, we were walking up. A spotted tohi flew across this trail here. I'm hoping we can get a better look at it. But um, I hear song sparrows singing here. Uh, so we're going to head back up and uh, look for our owl here. So now we're going to take a little walk down this nature trail going down to Terrell Creek. Um, it's a good spot. Still looking for that barred owl that we've been expecting to see today, hoping to see. Um, and we'll just probably see some of the same species, but maybe we can find some we've been missing. So we'll, we'll head on down the trail. I hear a Pacific wren in here again. Right here. Psh, 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 psh. 
Pacific Wren is one of our more common birds in this heavy, heavily forested areas, especially when there's sword ferns and a lot of stumps and down logs. So he's right here. There's a Pacific Wren singing over here. I hope he sings again. Um, really, this now we're getting into the season where we'll be hearing them. And pretty soon the forest will be alive with those sounds. I mean, there's probably hundreds of them in, in various territories right around us here in this forest, especially here. Yep. So that's a very cool, very cool song. So here we got a real sign of spring. Skunk cabbage coming up, looking good. So we're coming out here now to the marsh here by Terrell Creek, or the end of Terrell Creek, where it comes down to the water. If, it's, if we're lucky, we might be able to hear some marsh wrens here. Maybe see them. There's a couple Canada geese sitting right out here in the marsh. Not exactly a trophy bird these days, but Always cool to see them in the wild, not in the park. Well, we are in a park, but. <laughs> a lot of song sparrows calling. I hear mallard quack. I'm gonna listen to see if we can hear some of the marsh, other marsh dwellers. I thought there'd be red-winged blackbirds here and Definitely, definitely marsh wrens. I got one brown creeper. You say there's another? Okay. Going up that alder. That's that's a brown. That was a brown creeper call. Yes. Yeah. It's it's about five. It's five to seven notes. Just kind of going up the scale. Where? That's a, that's a good bird. That's a good addition to the day. So this is the time of year when they start singing. No, oh, I'm seeing it there. I think it's a Hutton's Vireo. Oh, I think you're right. It's a Hutton's Vireo. Yep. That's a that's a good bird. Uh, yep. <laughs> that's a good addition to the day. So this is the time of year when they start singing, because yeah, they're they're on a they're a resident bird, so they're on a path to to mating and building a nest here in the next month or so. So get into February and the sun starts shining on the cedars and they start singing. And usually in cedar trees. Well, he came he came out of that alder. Over there. He's singing hear him. over there. Hear him? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's where you he, He's singing just a slight bit different than they usually do. He's right up in, oh. Yeah, he's in. In the cedar here. In the second cedar. There, on, on the left side. Oh, now you, now you can see him against the sky. Yeah, there he is. Now he's... Well, we're going to check out a section of Terrell Creek here. Uh, we, I know I saw some mallards on our way in this morning, and I'm hoping that maybe we can find at least at least some other uh, kinds of dabbling ducks. I actually really want to see a hooded merganser. Okay, we got a, at least two golden crown sparrows here along the road. Nice Pacific Northwest specialty. So the mallards are back. They just flew in. 
there's two pair here. Yep. So this morning they were sitting here. Obviously, they've got some territory staked out here because they were sitting in pairs, probably thinking about this being home for the summer. I'd stay here. And normally you can see hooded mergansers, green-winged teal maybe, mm -hmm. great blue herons. Mm -hmm. Herons especially here. Yeah, I, th I thought we were today, sure but they are here, here quite often. I'm still hearing that tohi over there, yeah. though. So there's a spotted tohi somewhere right across the creek. Here, Wayne, take, take a look. Don't get your eye too close. I should have the I should have the eyepiece further up so that. That's a beautiful pair. Isn't they it? They nest yeah, over here in white, white rock. You recognize them? Really? Yeah. Here, let me turn, yeah. turn, this, turn the eyepiece I mean, up. It'll I mean, be, make yes. it be better right for you. I said right. Then you can put your eye right down. Finally, we found a group of green-winged teals here on Terrell Creek. And now where did they go? They went around the corner, Just but we had we had about four about four green winged teal. So about green winged teal, are they something? Are they here? Do they migrate migrate through here? Or are they here? All year well, they round? they do both, but they but do? they are here. They are here all year round. I mean, I've seen them. They they nest in our area, uh, and but I think a lot of them probably migrate further north. But mo mainly, I think I see numbers when they're when they're wintering here. You know, on, on wintering grounds, the mud flats, they like muddy, shallow, fresher, brackish water, mostly fresh water. So that's probably why they like That's why they're here, yep. Freshwater Creek. Okay, well, I think we've seen about all we're gonna see here, so let's head back to the parking lot. Well, thanks for being part of our field trip today. If you're with, with us or even if you're watching at home, uh, thanks for your interest in Wings Over Water. Come on back up sometime to our area of the Pacific Northwest. Uh, check out Birch Bay State Park and all the other good birding areas around here. Uh, this park is great when the warblers are migrating, so you might come and see some great birds you've never seen before. Thank you very much.